The really interesting part about this setup thus far is actually this is all we need to have the booth uh, function in its most basic form. So let's plug these in and get started. Now we're plugging in the um, AC adapter dummy battery camera charger. And again, we're going to do wire maintenance afterwards. Okay. And I actually plugged in the, uh, I plugged in the photo booth itself into the, uh, an extension cord that goes into the wall. So we're almost ready to have this running. Uh, this will be our USB cable that goes into the computer here, but I want to use a mouse for a bit. So I'm going to connect, uh, just a random mouse. That's a wireless mouse. And that way I can still connect the camera to the computer, but at the same time, um, I am connecting a mouse and I'm just using this uh, USB splitter here to do that. Um, and that's just a temporary thing because it's just easier to set all the passwords and all the requirements for your new Surface Pro to like uh, go in and purchase and put your credit card number for the software. So that's why I'm just temporarily doing that. But it's uh, because it is a touch screen, there's no keyboard at the moment. So that's why I'm just adding the splitter just so I can uh, use a mouse. And I also have a, a keyboard, which I might also use, but for now, um, that's the case. Now we're gonna plug in some power. Again, we're gonna do maintenance on the wires, calm down, it's not gonna be like this. They have to be nicely wrapped, put inside, run through. Now, let's give it some power. There you go. And what we're gonna do now is in the top right hand corner of the back of the screen as it's positioned now there is the power button here for the surface pro 3 i hold it for about two seconds and let's just see here we should be getting power there you go and we'll enter the password here and actually the program, and we'll have uh, Lee talk about this, starts on its own and Lee will explain how to get it started on its own. That way users can simply uh, turn the booth on and the program boots up and you're ready to go, almost ready to go. You of course still have to log on to Wi-Fi in order to, to work completely. But there you go, that's the um, program itself and it's essentially ready to uh, start taking photos. It's asking for an update there. We're not going to concern ourselves too much right now about that because we are still wiring stuff up. And in this case, we want to wire up the flash. And before I get started on the flash, I just want to say, you know, you can make an enclosure. Maybe you actually found just like a box. Actually, the first enclosure we ever made was out of an old wine uh, container. You know how, uh, wine comes in those um, uh, wooden carts. We actually use that as the internals for our very first photo booth. So you can do all sorts of things. And if you already have an enclosure, it's already kind of ready to go. Um, and you just were looking on how to wire something together. Well, that's it. We have the camera. Again, let's just review it really quick. Attached via USB to the Surface Pro 3. Some computers might be different. We have the power for the computer, and then we have the power for the camera. And that's pretty much it. Um, the software does the rest in, in terms of pairing the camera to the computer. You do want, an SLR is really nice because it's digital um, and it'll allow you to, uh, and it has features there that really help the pairing process. Um, and it's of higher quality, but um, these things are going to be taking pictures in dark rooms and in, in, in halls and stuff like that. So we do want some sort of flash. Um, here's an old flash that we are using. We use a few. This is the ProMaster PD300. And how it works is, well, we have our flash mount here. We're going to mount that on. There you go. And right now it's facing the audience. You do not want it facing the audience. You want it facing away from the audience. This flash is also great because it does have a little slot for the umbrella. 
You can buy these umbrellas off of Amazon. And there's multiple listings typically. And then you can see the size of that. I don't know what the size is. I think it was 24 inches. But even smaller ones work. Just get the small one. And this will go through that hole there. Now we're gonna give you a better, better angle later, but it basically just slides through that hole. And that is kind of the reflective umbrella because what we want is reflective light, not direct light at the audience. That way you get a more diffuse light, which acts as a, well, a better light. And you get a better quality of a uh, picture. Now, in order to connect the flash to the uh, photo booth, we need two cords. In this case, we need a, some sort of power cord. And again, normally we're gonna undo these bolts here or screws and feed the wires through the hole we made down into the booth. But for now, just to show you how it's all working, we're just gonna um, plug it in uh, just as simply as possible. And we're plugging it into the power bar. <coughs> There you go, the, photo, uh, the flash now has uh, power. And now the flash needs a sync cord and one of these. This is a hot shoe mount and it's gonna allow the flash to work when a picture is taken. A picture takes, is taken and the hot shoe mount detects it somehow and also uh, engages the flash. So the hot shoe mount has like a little, uh, input and that's that end and the other end is essentially a mini oh not a mini usb a kind of like an audio jack input like this And that audio jack input, I, for a moment I, I had a brain fart, um, goes, it's essentially a sync cord, sync input cord, and it goes there. And actually our parts list have, has, have, our parts list has the proper terminology if I'm getting anything that, uh, mistaken. This goes on the camera like this, it just slides on. There's almost always a fitting on these cameras. It allows you to slide on, twist it tight, put that in, make sure the camera is on uh, the on position and on the M. And Lee will also dive deeper into the camera settings so you get the best quality of picture. Now let's see if it works. I just have to click the screen. Okay, so the system's rolling. Let's see if it gives a flash when it's, there you go. So it's taking pictures now. The flash is working with the camera and everything is almost ready to go in terms of wiring. And uh, we'll, get you, uh, we'll get another angle going on here. Okay, so I don't know if you can see that though. Some of the settings will have to be changed because it is uh, way too bright right now. And again, the flash is facing away from us. We just had it facing there so we can input the wires. And again, the wires will be going through the hole underneath the mount. But there you go, it's taking pictures. Again, it's, it's completely oversaturated, so something's off in the settings, but that's something we can adjust uh, no problem, but the booth is essentially now is fully operational. I did download the program um, at some point in the past on this Surface Pro or, or uh, Lee Jones uh, did, did, so it's ready to go, but it just needs some adjustments uh, clearly. And again, I, I hooked up the mouse, right? So we can use the mouse um, instead of and then go into the settings. This program is really neat. It has a lot of features. I, I'm, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm wanna save 
some of the um, I want to save some of most of this software portion for Lee Jones. He is actually the leading expert in it because he's been working with photo booths for a few years, even before I started. He actually brought me into uh, the photo booth business. So, but here um, there's some really cool things like DSLR camera settings. And you can see that uh, we can make a, um, we can take a test picture. Look, nothing's, nothing's really coming out very well. So we're gonna decrease some of these settings and it's already starting to, it's already starting to clear up. So it's super easy. You can kind of play around with these things and get your picture to adjust. Somewhere here, there's also a, um, and we can test it again. Oh, there you go. It's, al it's already doing a bit better. Somewhere here, there's also a wizard, which kind of automatically improves the photos. And you can see the photo oh, is still a little bit oversaturated, but of course it's improving there. Get exit out of that. And, uh, and there you have it. So that's it guys. Like I'm going to clean this up and show you how it is. It takes a while to just clean it up. I'll probably just put it on time-lapse. What we're going to do is just really clean up the cords, make sure everything's good and do a proper, proper test run of everything, remove this tape, and basically have a functioning booth ready to go. So uh, stay tuned, let's do some time lapses. Well, there you have it. This is essentially the finished product right there. Now, I do have a little bit of a little secret up in my sleeve. One of the guys that works with me here is actually really, really good at at making things look, at making wires look neat. I left him with a boot for about an hour. I came back and everything was beautiful. So. This is kind of as far as I'm gonna go, I'm gonna hand it off to him and he's gonna work for another hour to just make it beautiful. But in this case, it's working uh, in the sense that all the wires are where they need to be. They're going through the uh, shelving uh, into the power outlets and essentially ready to go. So let's give it a quick test. At the very beginning, this puck board, it's a little staticky. Sometimes if I like clean it with water and stuff, the static seems to dissipate. So now, and we're gonna also insert the umbrella. Oh, so that's one thing is I didn't adjust the camera very well. So let's do that. Okay, adjust it a bit better. I think it still has to go forward a bit, but it's, it's a start. Turn on the flash. The flash has a background light. Yeah, this one anyway, uh, that can, I believe we can increase the brightness. Yeah, of the background like there. We can take some of this tape off so it looks nice. Almost gone, a little bit of work here. Let's just get the front part off here. All right, that's good enough. Okay, starting to look a bit better there. Uh, now let's get the camera up. Uh, sorry, the... And I'm gonna get Lee to kind of make a... Oh yeah, see I put the umbrella on, now I have to readjust all the settings essentially.
Yeah, so we're pretty much ready to roll here. Let's touch the camera, touch the screen to begin, and basically it's starting to take pictures. Yeah, the settings do need to be adjusted, of course, further, but you can see they're already turning out much better than they were before. And people absolutely have fun with this, so they're gonna love it. Again, you just touch the screen, go. You place this somewhere. The nice thing about buying a kit is that perhaps you have a different component. So you're not constrained to a specific thing. You can adjust. Even when we send these to Lee, because he's the one who actually ships them out for the shipping side of our business, um, he always ends up doing some sort of adjustment, changing the flash. He doesn't like something. So he makes um, some sort of adjustment. But there you go. There you have a function in photo booth. It's that simple. And, uh, and uh, yeah, and the, the really cool thing about that one is um, in the previous screen, you can enter your phone number and then just get sent to your text message. If you have that USB splitter back there, which we talked about, you can also attach a printer there. That's, a, that's the place to attach a printer and basically do a USB port. Uh, and uh, there you have it. It's the working flash. It has a tripod mount, so you can stick it on a tripod. Um, you can change the flash if you don't like the flash. Some folks don't even have a flash. They just have a bright light. Uh, uh, um, I know it's like sometimes these cords can be finicky or something's not working, so you can just have bright light like a bulb. Um, for example, what works for that is you can buy uh, these things here that just essentially uh, AC to socket. And this is an AC to socket dual. And uh, these work just fine. You can even buy flashes. I'll show you. I'll show you what I mean. Flashes like this, which just go into the socket. Uh, this just flashes, it doesn't have a backlight. So you would also want a, just a regular bulb like this on this side to give it some background light. and you put this on the other, you have that set up. It also has a flash, uh, sorry, an umbrella hole and a spot for the uh, tripod mount. And this is what we use a lot. The only problem with this is that these things sometimes come broken. This one's actually broken. Um, for whatever reason, like this is brand new, it just comes broken. It's kind of a shame. You have to do the whole return process. This one, we don't even have time to, uh, we just didn't get around to returning it, but they're fairly inexpensive. I think these were like, 50 bucks, 40 bucks, uh, I don't remember. Uh, but the dedicated LED flash like this is a bit, uh, is a bit better, um, a little bit more expensive, but certainly not, uh, you know, utterly uh, expensive. And yeah, there you have it. So if you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to put it, uh, the questions in the comments. If you've bought any of our kits, uh, use the Etsy messaging, uh, if it was purchased through Etsy, which right now that's the only place we're selling them at and we'll be happy to answer them. So any questions, if you bought our kits, any specific questions whatsoever, just feel free to go in there, ask any questions. Hey, I'm having trouble with this. Can you send me a link for this item? We'll be happy to help. And uh, there you have best of luck for your photo booth builds, whether you go with ours, um, whether you use ours to make your own kind of like certain concepts out of it, or if you're just completely making your own, good luck, wishing you the best of luck. Get out there, make some money. And uh, take it easy.